What's up, everybody? This your boy A Dog, and once again, I'm back with a banger. Now, today I got a new video for y'all. This video is coming by the one and only PewDiePie. Now, PewDiePie just uh, dropped a video. Now, he named the video Ending the Subscribe to PewDiePie Mean. And I believe what he's talking about is that, you know, Mr. Beast, you know what I'm saying? Like, they were putting up billboards and stuff, talking about subscribe to PewDiePie. You know, uh, people like Logan Paul was telling his subscribers to go subscribe to PewDiePie. You know, everybody was in the little subscribe to PewDiePie movement, you know. And I'm pretty sure that's what he's probably talking about. Now, before we get to this video, if you're new to the channel, be sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on the post notification because we is lit over here. Now, like I said, as myself, I am a big PewDiePie fan. And I'm pretty sure y'all is too. And like I said, man, if you're new and you're watching this right now, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm on a road to 20K. That's my goal for 2019, so hopefully I hit it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's go ahead and get straight to this video, man. Like I said, he called it Ending the Subscribe to PewDiePie Meme. Let's get straight to it and see what's going on and make sure everybody hit that like button right now. It really, really helps me out a lot. All right, so uh, let's get straight to it. Hello, I wanted to talk seriously and honestly for a moment about my thoughts on what's been going on for the past couple months and hopefully you, you can get a better understanding of my perspective. I think it's time to end the subscribe to PewDiePie movement or me. Mm. It's something that started off as a way to keep me as the number one most subscribed channel on YouTube. And seeing so many people come to my support, other creators as well, uh, has been incredibly humbling to me. It's really, really meant a lot. It's something I never thought I would experience. And it's something I thought would last also for maybe just... Yo, but y'all just look at all the support he got, man. You got Mr. Beast, Logan Paul. You got everybody riding around in trucks. Even Mr. Beast got a truck made, got subscribed to PewDiePie on it, man. Everybody was really, really, really uh, looking out for PewDiePie, helping them out and stuff like that, man. They let you know you got a strong, strong fan base and everybody want him at number one. You know what I'm saying? It's a couple of days or maybe a week, but here we are. It's been six to seven months now and it's been a crazy journey. At first, it started off with people doing really positive and fun things to get attention through subscribe to PewDiePie. But something I learned and I think hopefully it's something people can understand is when you have 90 million people riled up about something, you're bound to get a few degenerates. And it started off with someone spray painting sub to PewDiePie on a World War II memorial and just so disgusting. So disappointing to have my name and community uh, dragged into that. I uh, addressed it on Twitter. I disavowed it. We saw that it got removed and and donated to the park. Hope that that was going to be it. I didn't want hateful acts to overpower all these amazing things that people were doing, all these cool and positive things. But then something happened that I don't think anyone would have predicted. The Christchurch shooter said subscribe to PewDiePie. Out of the, re the respect for the families and victims involved, I chose not to address it any further than on Twitter, where I disavowed the actions taken that day and I gave my sincerest condolences to everyone affected. To have my name associated to, with something so unspeakably vile has affected right. me in more ways than I let shown. I just didn't want to address it right away, and I did. So basically what he's saying is, like, I guess some people took the subscribe to PewDiePie stuff, like, way, way too far, and I believe that's what he's talking about right there. I guess it was kind of all right to start off with, but I guess people were kind of, like, taking it a little bit too far, you know, and that's what he probably talking about, you know. didn't want to give the terrorists any more attention. I didn't want to make it about me because I, I don't think it has anything to do with me. To put it plainly, I didn't want hate to win, but it's clear to me now the sub subscribe to PewDiePie movement should have ended then. Lastly, my feelings around the subscribe to PewDiePie thing would not be complete without mentioning T-Series. Uh, I made two diss tracks that were made in fun, ironic jests. They were not meant to be taken seriously. And now High Court in India demands that they're gonna be blocked and removed. This was all made to be fun, but it's clearly not fun anymore. It's clearly gone too far. And out of respect. So the idea here about them saying that they were going to try to block his video and try to have the congratulations video took down as well as the other video as well. 
Man. Like I said, I, I knew it was just all fun and games when he made it, but obviously they didn't take it serious or something like that, and they, they just, I guess they just wanted it removed. But at, at the end of the day, it was a good song. We all know that it was a good, good song, man. Like I said, guys, we almost done. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, uh, let's, let's, let's keep listening, man. For that, I'm going to keep the videos blocked. On a similar note, some people in some media has made this sub to PewDiePie thing about race or about politics or nationality. And I don't agree with that at all. And I want that to stop. This negative rhetoric is something I don't agree with at all. And I want that to stop and to make it perfectly clear. No, I'm not racist. I don't support any form of racist comments or hate towards anyone. Finally, I don't want hitting 100 million subscribers to be about beating another channel. I think what we've accomplished is so much more than that. And I just want to say I feel incredibly lucky to have such an amazing group of people supporting me. I think I can say that because I know them better than anyone. I, unironically, I'm so proud of this community. And this movement started out of love and support, so let's end it with that. I hope that you understand my perspective, and I ask you kindly to accept it. Thank you for listening. That's all. Bye. Dang. So basically, like I said, a lot of people were just kind of taking it a little bit too far with the subscribe to PewDiePie thing, you know. But God, as y'all can hear from PewDiePie, man, he won't the subscribe to PewDiePie means to stop. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But guys, like I said, we have made it to the end of this video. If you did enjoy my reaction, be sure you smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Turn on the post notification because, like I said, we lit over here. And like I said, man, you know. PewDiePie gonna hit 100, 100 million subscribers anyway. Like I said, he don't. He said he just don't want it to be about him beating another channel because he gonna hit it anyway. So it don't really even matter. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we all support PewDiePie and what he's doing, man. And like I said, you just gotta go by what he say. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like I said, this your boy A Dog, and I'm gonna catch y'all in my next video. And like I said before, make sure you leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, turn on the post notification, man. We on the road to 20k. See y'all next time, man. Let's get it.